Hey, welcome back to my channel. Got a little something here for you. So I'm dealing with flickering OSD or your OSD shrinking away, you know, just fading out as you as you move your throttle, your OSD changes. Okay, so that's the issue that we're going to deal with real quick here. And I just have a, a couple quads for an example. This one here is my race, uh, my race quad. I built this last year and I had flickering OSD issues. I did a redundant ground system on it and, and it cured it, okay? And I thought possibly that it was just something going on with the flight controller. So I bought another one here recently and uh, put it in this. So both of these uh, had the flickering OSD issue. So I don't think it's just a, a simple board issue. I mean, we're talking a, a year ago and both of them doing it and wired up exactly the way the factory said to wire it. So that's what this video is about, is uh, how I fixed the flickering OSD issue. So let's check it out. All right, so what we're going to do is, is I have the Mamba F722 flight controller, the T-Motor, F55 amp Pro 2 ESC in both of these quads. Okay? So you can say they're identical. Yeah, maybe not totally identical, but this is my race quad. This one, um, I finished wiring all of the uh, redundant grounds and it is perfect. It, it No more issues, okay? This one, however, is still flickering the OSD. I left one ground wire out. One of the redundant ground wires I left out on purpose just to see, you know, if, if that's going to change things. I've wired both of them. Now, keep in mind, I wired both of them originally exactly the way the factory told me to wire them. Okay, so, so the F22, uh, F722 flight controller was wired exactly the way the manufacturer says to wire it. And both of them had flickering OSD, which is annoying. So this one's solid as a rock with all the redundant grounding that I've done. And this one, I left one of the redundant grounds out. And and there's a result. It, it had flickering OSD. So let's see what, what a solid OSD looks like. So let's, let's rip this one real quick. Now you can see here the props off logo at the bottom. Just look at that. It's solid as can be. No flicker, no... No browning out, doing a split S, full throttle. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so obviously, you know, that OSD was was solid. It, it didn't it didn't putter around or, or disappear when we did a punch out and, and looks real good. Now this one has still has the flickering OSD issue, so let's go ahead and rip it. All right, you can see here, just looking at the OSD information, props off, look at that. It just flickers a little bit, just bobbling the throttle a little bit, fighting the wind. You'll see here, just full on, just missing in action. Little bobble here. Kind of buttering the throttle, fighting some wind here. And then you can see it just flickering away. Now watch this full punch over this tree. This, this garbage. I mean, do you see that? They just just flicker in and then goes away on that punch. That that's unacceptable. Okay. So what I'm gonna do? This one here, I've I've got Loctite on all the bolts. So this this flight controller is is bolted in. Uh, this is a very unique build, and I don't want to take this apart. But I want to show you. I want to open up and 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 show you what I've done. So this one here, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and pull the top off of this, and I'm going to I'm going to zoom in nice and tight for you, so we can see exactly what all is is going on in there, so that you can, you know, fix yours and get rid of that stupid OSD flickering or disappearing or acting goofy. All right, so we're zoomed in nice and tight here. Now there's a lot going on, okay, and I admit that. You know, looking at this right off, it's like, oh my goodness, what's going on? But that's for another video, okay? I have another video that I'm doing on, on this uh, particular build. And and stay tuned for that because it, it's, it's very nice what I've done. But I just want to show you here. 
uh, the redundant ground that I've, I've ran to eliminate the flickering OSD issue. Okay, this wire right here, okay, and this wire right here, those are redundant grounds. You may not have to run this redundant ground, this one right here, okay, because that's running from the ground of the VTX and where the camera hooks into your VTX. I've ran a redundant ground up to where the camera uh, position is because I have my VTX completely separate. So my FPV system on this quad is completely isolated from the ESC and uh, powering off the flight controller. It's it's actually underneath here is an LC filter uh, regulator. I'm gonna get into that in a different video, okay? So stay tuned for that. But if you're having flickering OSD issues on this board, I've corrected it by, here's the original ground. That's That's the ground coming up from your ESC. And that's it. That's all they had. It's not enough. It's not going to work. Okay. I've had issues with both of them, wiring them exactly the way factory says to wire them, you know, running my uh, VTX off of these pads and running my camera off of these pads, garbage. So what I've done is I've ran a, right here is the ground strap for the board. Okay. So let me put this panel up here. So you can see here that there's a ground and then your voltage coming in. So, so for you, you might have j just to use this ground pad. And then that's going to run back to your battery. Okay. So if you could see in here. You see down in here where the, where your, your XT60 connects to your pad on your ESC. I've pulled a ground strap from that. Okay. And that ground, that's what's running up here. So this, this ground wire comes from the ground pad from the, so it's basically tied into this ground, okay, on the ESC. And then I've ran that up here to the, to the ground pad on the flight controller. And then I've ran a loop over here and then over to here. And that's a redundant ground. Those three wires are what you need to run to, to eliminate that flickering OSD. Now you'll see this one, this is another ground strap here, but that's, that's different. You may not have to run that, okay? I've isolated my VTX, so I've had to run a ground up there. But I'm gonna tell you what, the video quality is, is much better. And I'll, I'll do another video on, on how to isolate everything. But for now, this has corrected the OSD flickering issue, okay? make sure I'm getting this solid and straight if you got it then go ahead but if not these two pads these two front pads right here okay are normally the pads you'd power your VTX so back the back pad is 5 volt this pad right here is 9 volt and then below it are two ground pads and then this is your VTX um, smart audio that's how you you know change your settings of your VTX in your OSD and then this is the video coming out that goes to your VTX, okay? The video from the camera goes into the board right here. And then I've taken next to that is a ground for your camera. And then you'll double that up with another wire coming over here to this ground. And then from this ground pad over doubled up to your redundant ground coming from your, from your battery. I do have a capacitor down underneath here. This is a 4S build. I'm running a 1500 4S battery on this. Okay. But if you run this ground strap right here. Okay. If you run that ground strap up to that ground pad. And then you come around and run you know, a jumper from here to here. And then from this ground pad over to that ground pad. You're going to eliminate the flickering OSD. So... That's how I've corrected it on this one. That's how I've done it on my race quad. And I have no more issues with that. Now, I am going to do a video on, on how to get even, you know, more. I mean, just unbelievable video I'm getting now by isolating this. So stay tuned for that video. But I hope this helps you out um, kind of seeing where things go. Okay. Things might look a little different, but basically I have a ground from the VTX up to the flight controller with this bus cable. 
and then I have my redundant ground coming from the battery over to here, over to here, from here, over to here. And then don't worry about this one unless you've isolated your VTX too. Then you'll have to put that one in. But this is, this is what I've done to fix it. And if you have any questions, let me know. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, hey, you know, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. If you hated it, yeah, give me a thumbs down. It all works. Enjoy the breeze.